iconic land. The 2012 Olympics, the marathon. London's roads are used to hosting huge sporting events, and it doesn't get much bigger than this. On the 7th of July, the world's greatest cyclists will arrive in the capital for the third stage of the Tour de France. The race starts in Cambridge and enters London via Epping Forest. It'll zoom past the Queen Elizabeth Olympic Park and head from the East End to the West End before finishing on the Mall. To ensure the course is in perfect condition, many roads along the route will be shut for most of the day and there will be some travel disruption. It will be very important that people plan ahead. All the information is available online and of course we're delivering it to people's homes. For the, just like in the Olympics, for people to plan ahead, it'll be quite an ordinary day for them. But what a really exciting day with all this going on. In just over a month, it will be a completely different scene here at the Mall. Both sides of the road will be filled with thousands of spectators waiting to watch the 200 riders come past here on their final sprint to the end of stage three. I know these getting quite popular now. They certainly are. That's why there's so few on the shelf. People are yeah. buying them already. Tour de France is good for business. Anything that brings cycling back into the public eye always sees a little spike in business. So yes, people are coming in asking us if we're doing special events, asking us if we have the, the team replica kit asking us if we have the team replica bikes. But some businesses aren't so optimistic. Well, it's a trade does um, deteriorate a little bit because the people don't seem to come up this far. They seem to stick with the events going on. So they, they do suffer, like the, when the Olympics was on, and that, it went down about 25%. The souvenirs are already on sale and many hotels and restaurants along the route are fully booked. It seems London would like the tour to come back more often. Amelia Papadopoulos, BBC London News.